democracy in Africa here in our midst. His Excellency, you are welcome, sir. Next to His Excellency is His Royal Majesty, King A.J. Turner, Obibo Miki Miki of Obama, by of State. Allah, sir. Please, somebody will help me get some names that I need to introduce later on. Let me also recognize His Excellency, Mike Ogiadume. As you heard from uh, the, the MC, he was Deputy Governor of Edo State in Nigeria, and later on, Chief of Staff to the President of the Federal Republic of Nigeria under His Excellency Good Luck Jonathan. Can you give him a round of applause? <laughs> we also have the Managing Director of Niger Delta Development Commission, NDDC. Is no other person than Dr. Sam Obuku. Can we give him a round of applause? A bit of Nigerian, a bit of English, if you know what I mean. Moreyaro. Moreyaro Kaere. Ah, Izo. Ah, Izo. You see, I told you, I'll be mixing. <laughs> so, my name is M. Sibari. Like I told you, I'll be your host for today and tonight. So, for now, it's just to welcome you. Now, we'll do a bit of introduction. I'll give you, Prof. Bartlett, a few, few more, more minutes, maybe, to get the, the names of the other delegates that we're going to introduce. Because shortly we are going now to do the revealing of the bride. Uh, I know Jude is here and is wondering what is happening. How comes? How comes uh, his his person, his personal person, is not around? So I think we'll do that uh, shortly. So maybe just give me like a minute. I coordinate. Once everything is ready, I'll be back here. So let them just walk slowly. Want to give Jude that noble chance? Yes. <coughs> Culture. Very simple. They come, they're lined up for you like that. Then you're given a chance to choose who you think is the one. And once you do that, that is the lady you'll be given. <laughs> yes, you have you have even up to one hour to make the decision. But we're sure you won't let us down. But before you do that, the choosing. Let me hand you over to the aunt who has been taking care of them. Because now she's the one who's going to hand over. And the cousin. Thank you so much. Uh, good, morning. good morning. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Lispa, cousin to Joy. We are here because of Joy and Jude. Now it's your time, Jude, to get your loved one. You are going to get her from this group of ladies. And if you mistake, you are going to be fined. So fine. I highly. I thought I would give you that. Oh, no. <laughs> so it's your turn now to go looking for your bride. Make sure you get the right one. You may start from there. 
certainly that is not Get the mic now and tell people what you see. Start I thought that anyone I take, I'll go with. <laughs> you came for only one. I came for only one. Uh, yes. So the, you are going to take I one. I came with the entirety of my people, you can see. <laughs> Meaning we are, very, we are ready to take every woman here. You came for one? Okay. So you'll take home one. Only one? Yes. Well, we are peaceful people who will not fight with you. If not, we are also known to take all of them. Okay, yes. okay, okay, okay. Um, the first one here, mm. certainly, will not be my wife. <laughs> the second here, certainly, indeed, will not be my wife. Mm. So I move this way. Yes. I look at this one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I look at the height. She's a bit shorter than my wife. <laughs> Nice yes, leg. he has nice legs, but you can see the heel. <laughs> Pretending to be there. <laughs> well, mm. my wife can also be a very patriotic Kenyan, but honestly, I've not seen her wear the bamboo there, so it certainly cannot be there. <laughs> hmm. Mm. Oh, black one, certainly. Mm. He's too short for my wife. <laughs> and, um, well, you give it me and say anyone I choose. If I mistake, I'll be fine. <laughs> George, from the Republic of Kenya, after recognizing and he declared the uh, appeal court justice of this great country. Thank you, retired Lady Justice uh, Ife Over. She's a part of a Nigerian delegation, anyway. <laughs> so let me appreciate every other person, including my own king, King A.J. Turner, the Obanovan of uh, Library Kingdom in Bayelsa State, Niger Delta, part of Nigeria. My chief of staff, Chief Michael Yarubi, who were, were deputy governors together in those good days when old men were young men. <laughs> And other very senior citizens, especially the families of our daughter and our son that brought us together this unique day in Embo, the, 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 the foot of, uh, of Kenya, the foot stool of Kenya. Yes, because uh, my younger brother has been telling me about that, and uh, I'm happy to be here today. We are here for a, a ceremony, a marriage ceremony, which for those of us who are Christians, whenever you read the Bible, you always remember that the first miracle conducted by our Lord Jesus Christ was turning water into wine in the marriage ceremony. So marriage is quite unique, quite important. And uh, as, as fathers, so for those of us who are old, you always want to know they did. No matter how you protect your daughter, sometimes you keep dogs to protect your daughter. But once she's of age, sometimes you want to change the dogs. Because you want one day for a young man to come and say, I've seen your daughter and we want to have a permanent relationship. It's when the father and the mother would bless the daughter, no matter how they be protecting that girl. So it's a very. Uh, uh, it's a very significant day for all of us. So we join the two families in this noble town to celebrate the coming together of these two young people. And you know, two of them are lawyers. I hope you will not be <laughs> talking too much of law. And two of them are Joy and Jude. J, J, J Square. So, we will not say much, but as older people, and those of us who came from Nigeria, we will first and foremost thank the family. My mama is here. I have to thank the family for giving your daughter to us. After here, she is following me to Niger Delta. <laughs> for giving your daughter to us, and they will 
for giving a letter to us. In fact, I decided to come with Justin's uh, uh, issue because she told me beautiful things about the Embo people. And that's one of the things I think we are lucky, those of us who come to take this girl. Because she is a lady, the first female judge of a country. And retired as an appeal called Justice. And a member of the Af uh, African Union Panel of the Wise. So it's not an ordinary person. And she told me that you are lucky. They will are very humble people, and that our daughter will not disappoint you. And she told me this in Sierra Leone when we were there together during the elections. I said, we are lucky. So today we are very, very lucky. But you are giving our people who come to marry. <laughs> the ordinary people from Nigeria are very, very humble people. You know, I'm the only president in Africa that can say my political ambition is not worth the blood of any Nigerian. Because I'm from Africa. So that is the characteristics of our people too. We are not violent people. We love people. We appreciate people. We are very humble. So I think it is a blessed family. So today we get to join these two families. The fans of you have come here to celebrate them. Without you coming, the marriage events have been so celebrated. But for you to be here to celebrate the marriage, we thank you. Family, thank you so much for taking care of our daughter. But we'll take her to you, you post her to Abuja. Yes. <laughs> so we thank you so much. I will not want to bore you as a politician, we would like to talk, but I wouldn't want to bore you. So, once again, thank you so much. MC Barry. Yes, your attention is needed. I'm told that it's lunch time. You know, cultures are different, but we are not marrying, marrying two cultures. Uh, good luck, Jonathan is a, a political giant. He has been a senator in Nigeria. He has been a president in Nigeria, going for 10 years. So he is not just a dwarf in African continent. Together with that, I have asked him, and we are going to be repeating this, that his brother, Orechigun Obasajo, was here last week to try to tone down two extremes of the political defiance in this country. And I've asked him if he could have one or two minutes to go to the two gentlemen of the two sides to repeat the same, because the chorus may make meaning to the two presidents, or the two, the, 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 the prime minister and the, the president, or the two groups that follow them. What am I saying myself? I am saying same, simply this, Embu is an island of peace. Kenya has never been an island of peace. Embu is, because Embu is actually the seat and the footstool of uh, Mwenenyaga, and from here you never hear serious, violent, stupid complaints about things. We wait to see what it is that God wills, and we follow it. And so, we are asking them to remember that Embu is here. They don't come to Kirinyaga and pass by. They don't go to the Rakaniri and pass by. We believe we have got a contribution to make in cultural and peaceful manner. What is it that the Kiyama Kiyamuembu does? Because I think that is important. Kiyama Kiyamuembu started in 1920. It was torn down violently during Mau Mau. It was forgotten during the formation of the two political parties, Kanu and Kadu. It kind of watered down because of the formation of Ugema and its development. And therefore, because of what has been happening in the communities, our communities, that is the Meru, that is the Embu, that is the Gekoyo, recently, what we have noticed is that the rest of the country would like, in fact, the cultural values and virtues of the mountain region to die off. And we have said it will not be possible. Why? We have the strings, we have the history, and we know the people that, that did it. And therefore, the Kiamakea Muembu has been revived. And every village in this country has got what we call itogi. So, and so, what we're saying, there is going to be to be itogi in every village, which is called social fire, not bonfire. Bonfire is for the scouts. 
social fire is for the elders to sit with their young people so that they discuss issues. And that is what has been established now. Every of those villages has got 12 people that are discussing these things. And each one of them is represented in the location. And every location is represented in the Kiama. That is what is happening today. It is not about eating goats. It's about telling the young people about how. You know, and it is not about drinking beer, karoko and yoke. No, that is not the Kiembu. The Kiembu is the elders will sit with their young people. They will discuss about the issues of the community. They will prepare them for any dangers in the future and make sure that there is respect and mutual understanding between families, individuals in that family, and the communities. We are also saying that the Embu community, the Meru community, and the Gikuyu community continue to be one. Nevertheless, they must be concerned about the going on in every community because Kenya must be one. And that oneness can only be cultivated by cultural leaders like the elders we have here. The goat. For us, the goat is given by the young man. When a young boy is born in the family, the father pays one and denge, denge, don't bring money, denge, denge, that in denge we call it denge anduke, that is a generation he got, to make sure that they are involved in their generations, and we continue like that up to about three he got, not more than that, because here Arambe, it is a, it's a family thing. Mimi naitwa Mwalim Alva Nyaga, from uh, Edmaster Gichiche, former inspector of schools, I retired in 1996 at Rakanidi. Right now I'm the chairman of Kiamakia Muembu, which is, I mean, which wants to revive the roots. We want to go down to the roots of Embu and uh, remove some of the confusions we have, especially on dowry. To Liku, to Namusichana, where to Mbaye, and Aulewa, Nigeria. I mean, Aulewa, Nigeria, Tayari. But mm. we are now celebrating the marriage of that lady, lady called Joyce. Then the Joyce knew her, Mweshimiwa Kamwithi Muni. Correct. Mulikumu Namjoyo. Yes. So, that's why we are here as elders, a few of us. Mm. Very soon we are going to get sales in every village. village.